Hello, I am Dr. Lee of Practical Pain Management. Some doctors ask me about the C-arm angle in different procedures and levels. But unfortunately, I couldn't tell the degree of cranial or caudal tilting and rotation because of the individual variations. These sessions will show how much rotation and tilting I need to find a target and approach the needle. Please check the cranial tilting and rotation in each procedure. The patient underwent percutaneous vertebroplasty at L1 and 2 with compressive deformities. I will show performing transviraminal epidural steroid injections at both L2 levels. It is an AP view without rotation or tilting. The C-arm shows a linear upper end plate of L3. I will tilt the C-arm quadri to align the L2 inferior end plate. It is about 3 degrees. And then 5 degree rotate to the left epsilaterally to select the left L2 nerve root. Usually, I need a mild degree of rotation in the upper lumbar spine. We cannot expect a precise subpedicular or infraneural approach in the severely deformed spine. It will be a survival mode. It means I must place the needle to the intervertebral foramina and infiltrate the injections into the foraminal and epidural space. Let's go! As we watch the C-arm image, it is difficult to observe the transverse process and lateral aspect of the lamina. Go to the central region of the foramina and move the needle cautiously while monitoring the patient's response and sensing your tactile feeling. Let the C-arm go neutral and interpret the needle tip against the lateral aspect of the lamina. The lamina is narrower than the lower lumbar region in the upper lumbar region. So, do not try to go medial to the lamina. Instead, it should stay outside the connecting line along the medial border of the pedicle. Let the C arm rotate to the contralateral side. It is about 5 degrees of rotation. Advance the needle slowly to the overlying bony shadow of the lamina in the upper lumbar region. Let me connect the mini volume connecting tube to the spinal needle and contrast the media filled syringe. Administer the contrast dye while observing the contrast spread. Do not press the piston fiercely. It has to see you in the following videos.